two concepts have gained significant attention in recent years, data lakes and data warehouses. Although both concepts deal with managing data, they have several differences. In this video, we will explore these differences and what each concept means. To start with, a data warehouse is a structured repository of data that is optimized for querying and analysis. It is a central location that collects data from various sources and transforms it into a consistent format that can be used for business intelligence and decision-making purposes. Data warehouses are typically designed with a schema-on-write approach, which means that data is pre-modeled and organized before it's loaded into the data warehouse. Examples of data warehouses include Amazon Redshift, Azure Synapse, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake. On the other hand, the data lake is an unstructured or semi-structured repository of data that is stored in its raw form. Unlike data warehouses, data lakes do not require any predefined schema. They are designed with schema on read approach, which means that data is only modeled and organized when it is accessed. Data lakes are typically used for exploratory data analysis, machine learning, and other data science applications. Data lakes are usually built on top of cheap cloud storage, such as Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Google Cloud Storage, or in the case of Spark and Hadoop implementations, HDFS is also a popular option. Another significant difference between data lakes and data warehouses is their cost structure. Data warehouses are typically more expensive to set up and maintain than data lakes. This is because data warehouses require a significant amount of upfront investment in hardware, software, and infrastructure. In contrast, data lakes can be set up using low-cost cloud storage services, making them more affordable. One of the benefits of data warehouses is their ability to provide fast, reliable, and consistent access to data. This is because data warehouses use a predefined schema that ensures data consistency and accuracy. In contrast, data lakes are more flexible and can accommodate a wider range of data types and structures. However, this flexibility comes at the cost of slower query performance and the potential for data quality issue. Another difference between data lakes and data warehouses is their approach to data governance. Data warehouses have a strong focus on data governance and control, with strict rules and regulations governing data quality, security, and privacy. In contrast, data lakes have a more relaxed approach to governance with fewer controls and regulations. This can make it challenging to manage data quality and ensure compliance with regulations. When it comes to the history of data warehouses and data lakes, the concept of data warehousing has been around since the 1980s. However, it was not until the 1990s that the idea gained mainstream attention with the advent of data warehousing software and hardware solutions. In contrast, data lakes are a relatively new concept that emerged in the mid 2000s with the rise of big data in cloud computing. In conclusion, data lakes and data warehouses are two distinct concepts that serve different purposes. While data warehouses are optimized for querying and analysis, data lakes are more flexible and suited for exploratory data analysis and machine learning. Additionally, data warehouses have a stronger focus on governance and control, while data lakes are more relaxed in this regard. Understanding the differences between these two concepts is essential for organizations looking to manage their data effectively and make informed business decisions. If you want me to make more content related to AI and data science, please like this video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be kept up to date with my latest videos. Leave a comment down below if there are any topics you'd want me to cover. Thank you.